<laughs> Sorry, my recording software was taking forever to load, and I was just encouraging it. Um, <laughs> uh, welcome back to The Sins 4, and as you probably guessed, it's going to be another anime episode, because I don't seem to have anything better to do with my time. Um, <laughs> I actually got back from vacation on Saturday, um, and I like totally like lost my brain and forgot to um, f finish... Um, rendering my last uh, episode of Doom uh, that I did, which is UAC Rebellion, which is the last thing that Doom Kid sent me. So anyway, uh, what that is segueing into is I'm kind of sick of Doom at the at this very moment, so I am I took a break, played some Sims 4, and I also started wat watching Attack on Titan, so here we are. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to show you um, the... OC, uh, the Captain Levi and the OC that I made for this particular, uh, set. I am gonna end up probably doing Aaron and John and all that. So let me just go ahead and show you. I am gonna, uh, put a link in. Stop such a bean, Bobby. Uh, Okay, alright, my recording software is doing something weird, but it's still recording, so here we go. Um, so, <laughs> this is my darling Levi. Um, The Sims 4, uh, there's actually a couple mods, there's not many Attack on Titan mods for The Sims 4 at this moment. Uh, this is the best thing I could come up with. Of course, Levi has his Kavat, which we don't have it right now, but I did find his hair. Thank fuck. And also thank fuck, because this was something that bothered me a little bit at first, but then it's kind of a godsend in a way, actually, especially if you're doing things that require certain outfit pieces. Um, these boots right here are about the closest thing I could find to the original Attack on Titan boots, um, because these outfits do not come with them. Um, these are actually female uh, boots that are tall. Uh, they're not you know, as you, if you've watched Attack on Titan, which I'm pretty sure a lot of you have, um, the boots are smooth, there's not a ton of, shit ton of buckles, but this was literally the best thing I could come up with that didn't have, like, some ridiculously high heel. I mean, Leo Man could probably pull off high heels, but we're not gonna test that theory. <laughs> anyway, alrighty, moving forward, um, so here's my dude, um, the Levi hair comes from Kawhi Dao, um, Make sure you download the basic pack. Uh, that will give you the most accurate version of this hair. Um, of course, you could probably use it on somebody else too if you wanted. But this is definitely Levi's hair. Um, I had I, I you don't want to know what he looked like beforehand. But also the eyes. Um, no, I don't want that. His eyes are actually a little hard to tell because sometimes they're like depicted as blue or black or silver. Um, these are Praline Sims Eyes, uh, number 54. I think this was part of the anime set. I want to say, well, it may not be. Mm, no, yeah, it actually was part of the anime set because they're all kind of there. So anyway, this is part of the anime set by Praline Sims and you know he has like those little tiny irises. So, in the pale skin. Uh, the Scout's outfit came from... Um, the Sims resource. I'll have a link in the description for places you can find these things. Um, uh, formal wear. You, of course, the the uh, soldiers in Attack on Titan would never like go to a ball or anything, but I I imagine that's what he'd wear. Um, athletic. Of course, you know he's wearing this shit as an athletic. Um, you're probably wondering about the tattoo. I really didn't know. Um. Because sometimes he's drawn with a tattoo on his shoulder, sometimes not, sometimes a lot of tattoos. Um, from what I gathered, and don't spoil anything for me, he, because um, I've been watching Vines, uh, he was a sort of a thug before um, he uh, joined the military. Uh, so I could imagine maybe there was tattoos on him. I don't know. He's also, like, it's said he's French. Um, there's there's a lot of things about Levi I don't know right now because I don't want to, like, spoil anything for myself. And I also need to read the manga before I go into the wiki. Uh, party stuff. I don't know. 
I don't know. I don't know. Don't look at me. This is... Anyway, this is the most important thing. This is my beautiful Captain Levi right here. He's self-assured, obviously, because he's the most freaking badass Titan Slayer ever. <laughs> Everybody knows that this asshole loves to clean. Or doesn't love to clean, but just he makes sure everything's very clean and tidy and... He will like die if it's if there's like even like a tiny little stain, and a perfectionist kind of goes along with the neatness thing. Anyway, um, here's my OC. Excuse the sexiness. Um, this is Janina shots. Um, she. Uh, a lot of the OCs I make are more or less, I guess, extensions of myself because I. I can't always pull off uh, the nice pretty bodies or things like that, so, of course, you know, sometimes in The Sims you kind of live your life through a video game. But anyway, um, so she's red-haired, green eyes. Um, those eyes actually fit fairly well for the uh, theme of um, uh, Attack on Titan. The colors in Attack on Titan are fairly muted. Um, these are also N54 eyes. Um, the the thing I find very interesting about Attack on Titan is how m very muted the color scheme is. Um, it, there's not a lot of bright colors. It's greens and browns and uh, not and very little bit of blue. Um, and not that there's anything wrong with that. It's just I'm not used to. I'm used to like you know reds and blacks and bold colors um, that are used. So Attack on Titan's kind of a different art style, and it's not one I've always been a fan of. But it's uh, the story's good, um, so it's kind of just like well, you you just take what you can get. Um, the hair is by Nightcrawler. Uh, it's as a braid. Um, I decided she'd look pretty with a side braid um, instead of having her hair down. Uh, Female Titan outfit comes from the same person who did the, the did, uh, did the male one. Um, also, those boots are female. The so you see this thing feminine right here. You can actually get rid of that, and um, female Sims can wear male clothes. Male clothes, um, male Sims can wear female clothes, and so on and so forth. That's why I said it was a good thing for for Levi with the boots because I didn't. He, they're really for male boots. Um, I can show you. Uh, uh, fashion choice, masculine. Um, they don't really have, like, tall boots for men, which is, makes sense in a way, but, um, this is her formal outfit. Um, this takes place in the year, like, 854, so I honestly have no idea, um, like what other kind of thing she'd be wearing other than like a really drapey garment. Usually I like to uh, dress my sims and sort of, uh, you know, sort of things that hug their curves or whatever. Um, I didn't actually look at the other colors for this. Um, this comes from the um, Get Together exp uh, expansion pack. And um, yeah, I mean, it's just a dress that's kind of old fashioned. The hairstyle comes from Stealthic. This is probably one of my favorite up styles. Uh, athletic, of course, her, her, uh, uh, a t uh, tight, uh, military outfit. Um, of course, I, I'm pretty much all my sims have tattoos. Um, all my OC's, uh, female sims have tattoos. Uh, just because, um, I've always wanted a tattoo, but never really ended up getting one. Um, I've always thought about getting a tattoo on my sternum, uh, just because they're, it's an interesting, uh, uh, choice to have. This is for party clothes. I really didn't know what to do with this. Like I said, I don't know what they wore to parties back in whatever year it was. And swimwear, again, didn't really know, but I figured this would probably be the most elegant thing to put on her. So, anywho, um, yeah, that's my OCs. I'll probably be back in a little while and, uh, show you... Aaron, John, Marco, uh, Sasha. Try. To, I'm just gonna like stuff all of them into one house and see how far I get, um, or something to that effect. Uh, yeah. So 
thank you guys for joining me. I will be back with another episode of The Sims 4 Attack on Titan characters as soon as I get the characters ready for you to look at. Alright guys, until next time, this is May Darlene, over and out.